Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about graphical LP model, linear prog programming model. So, <coughs> let us do a question so that we can understand how to do the problems given from the graphical LP model. So, the question here is, sketch feasible region if exist of LPP, matlab linear program model, given below and hence determine the optimum solution. Okay. Maximize z equal to 5x plus 2x2 subject to the constraints 3x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 3 3x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 6 x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 and x1 comma x2 is greater than or equal to 0 okay let us for that we have to find the points and after that we have to plot on the graph and by seeing the graph we have to uh, find the feasible region and after finding the region, uh, feasible region what are the points we have to substitute in this equation and after that uh, in which we have we will get the maximum value that is the optimum solution okay let us do the problem what is the first equation here we have to check the constants at last we will substitute the values in maximize this equation but first we have to check the constants what is the first equation here 3x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 3 okay i am just taking a I am explaining you in an easy way so that you can understand. Here I have taken two points, okay, x1 and x2, okay. In this x1, I am substituting value. I am assuming x1 as zero. If I as, if I am assuming x1 as zero, मतलब three into zero plus x2, three into zero plus x2 is greater than or equal to three. Just remove this greater than. We will discuss about this later. But is equal to three. That means x two equal to three. Okay. If x one is zero and uh, x x two is three. If x two is zero, three x one plus zero is equal to three. X one equal to one. So we find one point, two points. What is that? Zero comma three and one comma zero. Okay. Next is the first equation right? Next second equation, 3x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 6. I am taking this one again. x1 comma x2. Okay, x1 x2. Here, uh, if I take x1 as 0, I will get the negative value. So I don't want the graph to go in the negative value because x1 comma x2 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, if I take x x1 as 0 then uh, we will get a value for the x2 as negative so we can't take that okay so uh, let us let me take x1 equal to 4 if i take x1 equal to 4 3 into 4 12 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 6 uh, if it's this go this side and 12 minus 6 is 6 is equal to 2x2 that means x2 equal to 3 x2 equal to 3 if i take x2 equal to 0 if i take x2 equal to 0 then 3x1 equal to 6 and x1 equal to 2. If I take x2 equal to 0, x, x2 equal to 0 then x1 is 2. Let me go to the third equation. x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 4. It is very simple. We can simply by seeing we can say that if x1 is 0, x2 is 4. If x2 is 0, x1 is 4. Okay. In this equation, we can say that if x1 is 0, x2 is 4. And if x2 is 0, x1 is 4. Okay. Now, let us plot these points in the graph. What are the points? 4, 3, 2, 0, 0, 4 and 4, 0. Let me go to the graph. What are the points here? We get um, 0, 3, 1, 0. 0, 3, 1, 0. Okay. And next, 4, 3, 2, 0. 4, 3, 2, 0 and another one 0, 4, 4, 0 0, 4, 4, 0 so let us plot in the graph okay uh, where is 0, 0, 3 x, 0 this is x axis this is 0 okay 0 and 3 is this one and 1, 0 this one let me join these two okay I have joined 0, 3 and 1, 0. Next one is 4, 3. Where is 4, 0? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 here. And 3, this one. 
Oh, here. Yeah, here uh, what is the second second equation? Four three and two zero, right? Four three and two zero. Here four it is and three it is, right? Yeah, it is the point. And what is the next point? Two zero. This one. Let me join these two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And next, what is the point? Zero four four zero. It is zero four. And it is four zero. Yeah. Okay. We have plotted three points. What are the points? Um, one zero, zero three. And next, four three two zero. It is four three. It is two zero. And four zero, zero four. Okay. And uh, here we have drawn the graph. now we have to check the feasible region now let us check the symbols okay what is the first equation is greater than or equal to 3 what it is the first equation is greater than or equal to 3 matlab upside of the lawn that means upside of the lawn this is the first equation right 0 3 and 1 0 it is the upside matlab greater than symbol means this side and 3x1 minus 2x2 is less than or equal to 6 the second equation what is this this is the second equation right 4 3 and 2 0 what it will be it should be less than if you see here i am telling it is the less than this side is the less than how i can say if i take any point in this like in this side below this line the equation should not be set like should be less than 6 if i take this side point let me take uh, let us take example 10 i am taking the value 10 this is the uh, this side right Left side of this line, right? Let me take one zero. What is the equation here? Three x one minus two x two is equal to six. Let me take one zero uh, in one. Three x one three into one. Three is less than or equal to six, right? If I take the point one zero, it is satisfying the equation. Okay. If I take greater than this, like right side of this line, let me take four zero. Three four twelve. Twelve is less than or equal to six. Completely wrong, right? So. the left side of this line satisfying the equation and the right side of this line not satisfying the equation so this side and what is the third line less than or equal to 4 yeah this is the equation and i am taking less than this side okay simple uh, you can say this is the less than no because if you take a point on here now it will be not satisfying the equation so these are the three now what is the feasible region here see This one, this one, this one. So this is the feasible region. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the feasible region. Uh, the what are the feasible points? Zero four, zero three, one zero, two zero, and this one. Actually, uh, it is not a graph. We have drawn it roughly, right? That's why we are not able to plot this point, right? So let me solve it in another way. What are the equations here involved to this intersection? This one and this one, zero four four zero and equation two and three. What are the equation two and three? Three x one, three x one minus two x two equal to six. One of the equation is three x one minus two x two is equal to six. And what is the other equation? X one plus x two equal to four. Right? Let us let me solve these two equations so that I can get a point intersection point of these two. Okay? Uh, if I multiply this with two, two x one plus two x two equal to eight. It will be okay. Let me add this two. Minus two x two plus two x two zero. Three x one plus two x one five x one is equal to eight plus six fourteen. X one equal to fourteen by five. Okay. X one is fourteen by five. What will be x two? X one plus x two equal to four, right? Then x two is equal to four minus fourteen by five. Six by five. Okay. So what is what will be the intersection point? Fourteen by five, comma six by five. This is the intersection point. Now let me uh, collect these points. What are the points of the feasible region? A zero comma four, B zero comma three, C one comma zero, two comma zero D, and E fourteen by five, six by five. What is the equation? Maximum equation five x one plus two x two. 
जेड इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स वन प्लस टू एक्स टू राइट सो लेट मी सब दीज पॉइंट इन दिस इक्वेशन एट जीरो कमा फोर इफ ए सब जीरो फाइव इंटू जीरो जीरो प्लस टू इंटू फोर एट जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू जीरो प्लस टू इंटू फोर दैट इज नथिंग बट एट जेड वैल्यू एट जीरो कॉमा थ्री जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू जीरो प्लस टू इंटू थ्री इट विल बी सिक्स एट वन कॉमा जीरो द इक्वेशन विल बी जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू वन प्लस टू इंटू जीरो दैट इज फाइव एंड एट टू टू कॉमा जीरो जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू टू प्लस टू इंटू जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन एट फोर्टीन बाय फाइव एट फोर्टीन बाय फाइव कॉमा सिक्स बाय फाइव जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू फोर्टीन बाय फाइव प्लस टू इंटू सिक्स बाय फाइव दैट इज नथिंग बट फोर्टीन प्लस ट्वेल्व बाय फाइव सो हियर आफ्टर सॉल्व इन दिस फोर्टीन इंटू फाइव सेवेंटी प्लस ट्वेल्व बाय फाइव दैट मीन्स एटी टू बाय फाइव That means eighty two by five is the value is sixteen point four. In all this, we have to find maximum right of this equation. So, uh, we have to find the maximum number. So, sixteen point four is the max maximum number. So, at at x one equal to fourteen by five, at x two equal to zero six by five, we will getting the uh, we are getting the maximum optimum solution as sixteen point four. So, this is the answer. So, nothing we have done. What we have done uh, uh, the full problem is we have read the problem, and after that we have taken the equations. After taking the equations, we have found the points, and we have plotted them in the graph. We have found the uh, intersection point here. We have seen the uh, feasible region. After seeing the feasible region, we have taken the points, and we on the points we have substituted in the the main equation. Okay. Yeah, we have completed the graphical model question, right? Now I am giving you a problem so that uh, you can, if you solve this problem, then it means that you understand the above problem. Okay? So the question is: Sketch feasible region of LPP given below and hence determine the solution. Maximize z equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 subject to minus 2x2 minus 2x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 1. X1 is less than or equal to 2. X1 plus x2 less than or equal to 3. And x1 comma x2 is greater than or equal to 0. So this is the question. And solve this and uh, uh, comment the optimum solution in the comments. Okay? Thank you one and all. In the next video, we are going to learn the simplex method. So, guys, please like, share, and subscribe my channel.